All right, hey everybody. So today I wanted to walk through Adobe's uh, Firefly beta. So Firefly is Adobe's generative AI tool and they have two features that we could try out today. If you wanna sign up for the beta, I think you just have to go to firefly.adobe.com. So first we can do text to images and then text effects. So I thought it'd be fun if we go through and let's make a couple images here. So, all right, we have to, at the bottom here, we have a little text prompt and some images are loading from the community right now. So let's take that in, it's taking a minute. Let's see, group, let's type out some stuff here. Group of cats playing soccer in 80s cartoon style. See what it can do with this. So group of cats playing soccer, 80s cartoon style. Holy, oh, yeah. okay. So looks like we've got some editing options and filtering options, some things like that for our prompt. But let's see if we like what we, what we get out of this. It's not surprising that it's taking a minute. So, I don't know, a couple of these look pretty good, actually. This one here in the top right looks a little, looks a little, a little funky, but the rest of these look pretty good. Let's see, can we zoom in on this one? The style looks pretty cool. Looks like they wanted to put numbers on the jerseys, but it doesn't look like there's anything there. This one looks a little bit. It's a little bit strange. I kind of like this one too. Put a couple of the cats look a little off of the eyes. And actually I actually think this one might be the best one of, of the lot where the style is pretty cool. The cat faces are pretty good. And uh, yeah, it looks like something that's worth keeping. So let's try a couple others here. Let's see if it, if it'll load quick. I and mean, then maybe we'll play with some options if we don't like some of the, some of the output. Let's see. Let's try to do like a robot. Robot. Cat. Playing in a tree house. Watching some TV and eating ice cream. Trying to think of something slightly more complicated. Just to see what we throw at it. Does it give us back anything that we like? And again, feels like it's taking a long time, but okay, okay. Like this one a lot. Definitely a tree house. Definitely a robot cat. Ice cream's kind of weird, but it's giving, you know, there seems to be some sort of robot cat world they're building here. So I think that's pretty cool. And then I clicked on a, there's a button where it says uh, show similar. So I think it's going to recompile a couple images more in that style. But I think you can see the power of something like this. And once this is done, we'll, yeah, see, it gives you a couple other options, which are pretty cool. Kind of fine tunes it a little bit. Oh, I love this one. This one's cool. It's quirk. It's weird. And let's see what some of these, these filters do for, let's see if we hit this digital art button. And I'm sure it'll just kind of play with the styles a little bit, but let's just see what it does. <sighs> yeah, a little. Some changes, but nothing too big. All right. So the cool thing is when you sign up to, you get to 
see some community images, get to see some prompts. This is Bear with the sunglasses and wood in the woods with cyber, cyberpunk style, which is pretty cool. And then, you know, this one actually is a super robust prompt. Interior design, a perspective of a living room and a kitchen with an island, large windows with natural light, light colors, vegetation, modern furniture, skylight, modern minimalistic design with a wide angle. So you can kind of really get descriptive here and, and let's see if we can click on this one. This one's output is, you know, it's pretty impressive given such a complex prompt and, you know, with a lot of these, you could definitely find imperfections, I'm sure, but at a quick glance, these are, these are pretty impressive. All right, let's see if we can go back and quickly play with the text effects. Again, we, we get some, some stuff from the community, which is pretty cool to see. For some reason, the extension's popping up, which is cool. That's great. All right, so this is cool. This, we got black and gold dripping paint. And if we hover away, you can see that's a pretty cool effect. We got a couple others popping up here. Oh, what is this one? Oh, a chain link. It's an L as a chain link. And then a mossy effects. I don't know what this P is. Cheesy popcorn. That's pretty. The cheesy popcorn works pretty well. Toasted bread. All right. All right, so we can enter some text. Let's do. Let's do something short. So then a uh, theme of this video has been cats. Let's go with cats. Let's do warm, do warm cookies. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I can see it. I can see the chocolate chips. I can kind of see the vibe. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty in depth. Yeah. Off the top of my head, I don't know what I'd use this for, but I think it's definitely interesting how, how they, yeah, how, how you could just kind of generate these effects. And I'm sure there's a use case. I'm just not thinking of it right now, but. So there's some sample effects you can play with after you put in your text. And I just put in driftwood and I could definitely see, I see that here. I could definitely see some of the little, little pieces of, of wood. And so that's, that's a walkthrough of Adobe's tool. There's some other features that they said are coming soon. There's limited usage and how you can use these, use the output right now and in, in the beta, but this just gives you a little taste of what they're developing. So thanks for, thanks for watching.